good news is that there was a fast travel point near this area. It's just, you know, I was over there and I was running all around this thing and everything. I just didn't see this. So thankfully there is a uh, fast travel next to Pebbles here. But uh, more importantly, I did go ahead and do some fashion souls. Um, and I found out that, uh, you know, obviously you upgrade armor in this game. But upgrading armor doesn't seem like it's going to be uh, worth it because it is extremely expensive in terms of the materials that you use and you barely get any armor at all. Uh, so going to those upgraded benches, uh, like genuinely, like in terms of the chest, I think it cost me like almost 40 of everything just to get like five or six more armor. Um, and that's just trash. But what you do do to get more armor, uh, a lot more armor, is you mod it. So that's what I've done. I've modded my chest, I've modded my legs here. Um, so I'm doing fashion souls, but with the modding, I actually have, this is my old set here, I actually have uh, 50 more armor um, and 20 more crit chance. So I got fashion souls, but also functionality. Um, I'm still wanting, you know, potentially better um, chest and legs. I do like the bandana um, in terms of the head, but the bandana has no mods on it. So obviously if I can get a cooler helm that has mods, okay. But uh, this works both in terms of functionality, but also fashion. So uh, now we can just focus pretty much on just fashion souls because uh, it is very easy. Um, yeah, I, I didn't really want to go soldier look necessarily, but like this is just, again, the best looking gear uh, within reason. There were a few pieces of uh, the torso here that I liked. I, I like the default one, to be honest. The, the original one looks really cool. Um, I actually kind of like the straw ones. There's a couple straw tops that are different like shades that they actually kind of work pretty well. Uh, I like this little samurai style one, and that goes well with the uh, headband there. Um, but like between the torso and then the legs, there weren't too many legs that I liked. You know, you can go something like a samurai skirt style thingy. Um, you know, there's some generic stuff which isn't bad, but nothing really stood out. Uh, so I went with this for now, but I'm definitely open to uh, certainly all new things. But, uh, you know, I do like the headband. Um, and unfortunately, there's like nothing else. So some of the ones I liked just... It covered the face too much because I do like the idea of like maybe not this one per se but a ronin hat would be kind of cool um I like the straw hats but again they just hang a little too low although it still work obviously uh so I wouldn't mind putting something like this on but I really like that bandana look and yeah it does give a very strong soldier vibe which still works obviously um so we got that, and that's great. And of course, I also found, like in doing this, that uh, the mods are reusable. So I can take mods in and out of gear without them being broken down, which is great. So I mean, it's just it's just a great uh, system. Um, it costs resources and all that, but like it, you, you don't break your mods or anything like that. So uh, it's really awesome. Um, so I think right here there are like two side quests I actually want to do. Um, this Graven Bones is for Click. This one's for Pebbles. And I'm also curious what Following the Light does, just so we can see if we actually do this. Uh, so we might as well bang these, like, five things out, because like, there's two of these smaller ones that I normally wouldn't go to, but, you know, they're right in the way. Uh, so we'll start here, and then I'll determine where to go, because I really do want to get this tribe stuff done. So I might just beeline up there if the main quest doesn't take me, which is fine. But uh, we'll just do some of these side things. It's been raining in-game for like five days because I was trying to take a picture of the new attire outside and I was sleeping and I did like five days in a row and every day it's rain. So I feel like that's something that doesn't change when you do the day-night cycle. It just keeps the same weather pattern. Which is normally fine, it's just I wanted to get a picture outside. So instead I had to take a picture inside. Ow. you or is there someone else? Oh, it's just you. Okay. 
Yeah, that's what it seems like. Keeps the same weather pattern, just changes the day night. This. Oh, well, we don't need it, but whatever, it's right in front of me. Alright, so there's a mine That's an miner intact here. plant hut over there. Wonder what's growing in it. Plant hut. Oh, there's a suicide bomber guy. It's the first time I've seen him. Need lots of new enemies. Throwing these things, damn it. That's a carrot. Alright. That might be interesting for a hat. I think the bandana looks badass. I mean, if it was a little less clunky, again, I don't like how low it is, but still, the low actually works if I go like a samurai look. We'll use the bandana for a while, I'm sure. And yeah, this thing, the bandana is like the worst headgear I have, stat-wise. Everything else is a lot better, so I can genuinely get like 20 plus armor just by changing the uh, helm, but we don't need it. That's pretty much the only concession I made. Everything else is like within the same range as my like actual best gear. It's just that the uh, the helm is drastically worse, but it's also drastically better looking. A toilet brush. Okay. Interesting. Has a nice base mod to give me more armor. And smacking people with a toilet brush is kind of cool. Hmm. That might cover my face too much. Yeah, it does. Still, general idea of something I might be using. And there's one more piece of loot. There it is. And slash... All right. Mask, which I'm not wearing right now. I wouldn't be opposed to, especially because that's the one downside to my uh, species is like the, the underdraw. This one looks like the least intrusive of the bunch as well. Nah. I mean, this if anything, I'd go with the gas mask. That looks pretty crazy. But, nah. All right, computer. The inputters need to be linked to boot the mind monitor. Just a few moves left. Make them count. Good. It's mind over matter. Software over hardware. Success is peace of mind. Next, we are just heading to this, which is just another random thing, but after that, we have a couple quests we can do. Here, it might be a big town if there's three things in the one place. Highway, yeah, yeah. Here, but okay. Oh, of course, now it stops raining. Who am I fighting? Oh, Rock Man. And rock Man is fighting Plant Man. Dude. Here we go. Does name Bubba Sparks? That's a callback. Early 2000s. 
Break, please. Mm. Ooh, what is the red zone down there? Eat zone. That's not necessarily where I'm going. It's the next town over. Otherwise, we can try heat gear, but let's just see if it's the next town over that we're going to. It is, okay. I am tempted to run in there, but I just know. Even with like my best heat resistance stuff. It's like going in and out and in and out and in and out constantly. Going towards you. Gin hat. Eh. This one looks cooler. Leather. Ooh, superb loot. Hey. Stock. Okay. The handle. Oh, that's her last. Okay, now we can get the um, ability here. The Rock Fist ability. Sunglasses. Which is junk, apparently. That sucks. I'd like to wear that. Uh, so. We will. Biogenetics. Hit Mud Punch. This is I still probably won't use this to be honest, um, but I'm not using the bubble thing either. So unfortunately, it only works on smaller enemies, which is even more proof I won't use it. Because I mean, there's nothing else here. I mean, I guess Storm Hop potentially. I could get that instead. That actually might be better because that'd be like an AOE. You know what? I might do that. Screw it. We're getting Storm Hop. All I gotta do is jump in the air. Uh, and then do that. So, like, if I really needed to, I can, like, do my freeze AoE, jump, and then storm hop, and that'd be, like, a double AoE. Sure. Put that there. L2, not R2. That uses barely any psi power, so I could combo smash the small AoE though, but hey, whatever. Again, I'm not using any of these things. Alright. A run board. Can't remember what a run board is. Oh, treadmill. Spot that fixer upper. Got to be something worthwhile in it. Okay. Nice helm. My panda on. Oh, a side quest here. Again, these are the ones I'm ignoring. This one's strange. Figures most maybe don't have a good reason to get up, what with the world ending and all. They have a pal who needs help waking up their whole crew, though. Not sure why they're having so much trouble, but it's a real problem. Hope they're okay. He's trying to wake up the dead people, I'm guessing. Uh, what's he done to try? <laughs> Heard they banged on pots, shook them, screamed at them. Nothing worked. Sister, head out that way, and you should find the friend. They can show you the sleepers. You might have to do more than shout at them. They're down hard. Without your help, though, they'll probably sleep themselves dead. All right, well, hope I can help them. Figures if you can't do it, they're dead for sure. Okay, weird. 
Anyway. Down then for the treadmill. Yes. Just put Run. one foot in front of the other. Easy. You run like the wind. Yeah. And like the wind. Next small thing is just going. Oh, no. Okay. So this is follow the light. So this is these uh, quests with like that tall beacon of light thing. Uh, so this will determine if these are even worth going to. Because I would assume not. But hey, since it's along the path, we can go there. This new magic thingy. Uh, what is this? Just follow that beam over to the scribble stone. Can't miss it. Oh, check out the scribble stone there. Wonder what's behind it. Oh, this is the sundial. It's not those beam Smells of lights. Like it's a the sundial. Nest, doesn't it? Okay. Is there superb loot here? But what else? Go this way first. Snarflurf. It old Snarflurf. Get that trophy. I don't know how many people have to kill with it, but uh, there's a certain amount of people with super wung fu. Must be a huge ass number. Um, oh my god, a two hand. Really good damage, but it's slow, so I wouldn't use it anyways. Okay. Damn. Okay. So do these only take you to a thing with superb loot, or is there something else here? Another fight. Club Snarf. Yeah, the extreme damage is just super slow. That's what's great about my melee weapon. Um, it wasn't much weaker than that, but I mean, Obviously, just the next tier up is medium, but still, medium versus slow is like the difference is massive. That's why I like this one that I made. Good balance. Uh, does this connect back to the original area? Yes, so was there anything else here? Still keeps going. It would be kind of weird if it just kept going nowhere. And that's what it does. Okay, so the sundials are not worth it. because They're just going to give me one container of super blue, which is obviously nice and all, but you can get them literally anywhere else. <laughs> Alright, as expected. It's fine. But now we can do a uh, quest for click to read the quest. Click. Oh, this is for... Okay, so this is the key that unlocks anything, supposedly. Click is a lock picker. And this is where a key to unlock anything is. Where the no-nos... Oh, to heal the roots. Ah, gotcha. Another quest line that I'm... Not doing, at least, I mean, I'm sure something like that one probably has, like, the ending would be worth it. But, like, just doing those quests just right now. I just go there and do that done. <laughs> Brave That's and gone forevermore. The place they plant dead folks. Hope you don't wind up there soon.
Gone forevermore. Skelebros. Anything else here? Oh, my turret's shooting. Why? The super blue must be in the grave. Going down under. Combat? Let's be below me. I'll have to loot that afterwards. Nope. Where the hell was the combat at? Because it prevented me from looting that. Whatever. Uh oh. There's a lot of bones down here. A lot of bones. There's the old bone we need for him. Can't see his name, because the black bars. Mugga Osseus. Yes, I can definitely see why uh, this class needed to be nerfed. <laughs> Although, to be fair, he is level 18 and we're like in the mid 20s or something. We're just destroying everything. Open. That was a superb loot. Candy. And everything's gonna be vastly better than the helm I'm wearing. Be honest, that helm was actually pretty decent compared to anything else, too. Who's here? Oh, here. Yeah. Turn to click afterwards since we're already here and there's been no fast travel. We'll just continue to the last one here. And this is for Pebble. We need to find three of these zip lines for him. So this is the first one. Uh, what's the best way? I guess we can just go straight. Oh, because there might be a fast travel here. So there's a town. And turn over there. A little hut. And I do have a fast travel. Nice. Here you got Bo's Teak hanging in that little blimp. Has an upgrade bench too. Can't unlock the fast travel. He's moving the position but not doing it, so I'm wrong there. Says the shop might buy something, something now that we're doing fashion souls. Uh, let's see. Ammo vest. I mean, I'm not. That would go with the military look, but I'm not like planning that. That's just the only thing I could have gone with. Ronin shirt might be pretty nice. Again, all that armor and the crit chance is based on mods, but it's not enough for me to buy it. It's not like badass. All right, so nothing too crazy here. All right. Yeah, can we? Okay, yeah, the fast travel for some reason is not unlocking. Let's see if I save and reload. Getting a new save slot today. Otherwise, oh well, but no, it'd be nice to have a fast travel over here. Hmm. 
let's see. There we go. That's all we had to do. Let's see. Good. All right, so let's get the first of three zip lines. A pebble. It's a new mount. That's one where you have. There's a side power up there. Sure. Oh, these are enemies. They were things to capture. Oh, they are. These guys are enemies. I haven't seen these uh, creatures yet. These are different forms of the plant guys. So I already have my light side points, so I'm not gonna- Oh god, whoops. Ah, oh, shit, we killed again. Wow. That's the second one we killed by accident. Damn it. What a mistake. Ah, oh, shit. I'm just- I don't know. I might be allergic to them. That might be what it is. Uh, this one would work decently. Again, it's not super badass, but uh, nah. I don't know. I just have bad allergies when they're around weird. I was fine at first, but I don't know. Alright. Can we climb this? I mean, we have to be able to climb it. There we go. It's fine. We only need... We only need 20 more dark points. That's all. Leave the animals out of it. Okay, so 20 more animals have to die. Okay. Big deal. Only 20 more have to be strangled while I hold them in my hand. That's all. Um. That's a proper junk depot. Just right, screw think it. Check it out. Things chucked away. Another new enemy type. Flying guy. Both times in your rubble with that. Yo. Who is that guy back there? That's another new one. Oh, let me check out my new power, which is like I keep forgetting to use. How much damage it does? Probably nothing. I don't even see any damage, but it does do some sort of ailment. Oh, it makes them throw up, which only lasts for like a second. There's like no damage. As expected, I, this is one of the things, again, one of the reasons I didn't want to go side because I kind of felt like, for the most part, you kind of have to like really focus on just intellect to make the side powers strong. And I'm sure you can like deviate here and there, but uh, I, I knew, like, just looking at the stats, that I would have wanted to pump luck for that loot chance. That wasn't a side power, but I think an intellect also increases um, the other powers too. Plus, again, now looking back, I actually can see I'm not using these powers anyways. Even if they were strong, I'm just not using them. So either way, it works. But that was my logic at first. I was like, eh. If I was going to use magic, you know, I didn't need to specialize in Psy, but it uh, turns out anyways, we're good. Yeah, the sounds are great. My capture card did the thing again. What the hell? Why is it doing that? Last time we just closed it and opened it back up. It's so weird. <laughs> it's just like, nope, nothing's connected. Oh no, last time we unplugged the HDMI, that's what we did. But it worked right now, okay. Uh, so what's happening is, uh, for you guys it looks the same, 
Okay, now I am going to have to unplug it. Um, so there's basically, you know, it, it's the same uh, screen, but, you know, I'm watching it on one screen and then capturing it in OBS. And this is what's weird. I don't know why it doesn't mess up in OBS, but I've noticed this with the PS5 a few times and only with the PS5. It didn't happen with PS4. Basically, it's telling me that nothing's plugged in. Um, so it, right now it's doing, it's giving me a message. It says out of range, but all that means is it thinks it's not plugged into something. So either it thinks my PlayStation's off or it thinks it's just not plugged in. But what's weird is I can hear it. So the visuals are working or the audio is working. Uh, it, it's captured in OBS, but on my screen, I just see a nice black image that just says out of range, which again, just means it thinks nothing's connected. So this is something that only happens with the PS5. I don't know why. Um, and obviously it only affects people with a capture card, maybe just my capture card, I don't know, but I've never had this happen, but it's happened like multiple times with Assassin's Creed, and now it's happened here. Yeah, I don't understand what's happening here. It's very weird. Um, well, let me check really quickly. I doubt there's any settings I have to change. Let me see. But yeah, it's really, like, like if it wasn't connecting, then why is it still showing an OBS? And more importantly, why is the audio still connected? That's what's really odd. Um, but yeah, I don't think there's anything here I can change setting-wise. Everything should be fine. Yeah, alright, whatever. So I just gotta unplug and plug in the HDMI. And that fixes it. So I, I don't know what that is. It's so weird. It's not just the issues happening. It's it's that it's happening for part of it, but not for the other part of it. Like, it's really odd. And this is the kind of stuff I can't look up, unfortunately. Like, there, there's nothing about this online. <laughs> um, technically speaking, I'd love to get a new capture card anyways. Um, but, like, you know, that, if it's not broken, I'm not going to pay for a new one because they're expensive, but... At this point, it almost kind of is. And God, playing Demon Souls with that happening, that'd be a problem. But, I mean, the thing is, it's only happened with Assassin's Creed and now this game. I've played other games on the PS5, both on-stream and off-stream, and it's never happened. So... I would assume it's the PS5, like the, the console itself, but maybe it is the software. For some weird reason, maybe this game and Assassin's Creed have the same coding issue. I, I, I don't know. But yeah, man, if this happens during Demon Souls, that's a fucking problem. <laughs> but it's only been Assassin's Creed in this game, and that's it. But yeah, it's gonna happen right in the boss fight. Right in the, a boss fight that, you know, it's probably gonna be the first time I fight a boss. I, like, kick his ass super well. I'm about to win, and then that happens. And then it's gonna take me, like, 40 tries to beat him. That's how it always happens. The first try is always the best try, and then like an hour and a half later, I finally beat him. <laughs> and that's what's gonna happen. Alright, we got uh, one more loot and some totems, which I don't really care about, but you know, if they're here, whatever. Okay. Share. Add on. Um, bonnet beanie? Okay. Oh well. Okay, so. Oh, we got No, that's going down. How do I get up to that? Just climb up and then zip line across, it looks like. Yeah, exactly. My other winning run is gonna happen again. Ironically enough, oh, oh. I bet that's a PlayStation. Nope, okay. So I have noticed you that freezing too. Bold. Ironically, just Not Assassin's Creed in this game. This place to make big but I don't know if it's the game itself. Ones. They just ground everything down. But yeah, I, ironically, you know, th this was something that, sort of similar, that happened with my old capture card, which is the whole reason I never played Demon Souls in the first place. 
So my old capture card, which is really shitty, like, you know, it, that, that was on me. It was my first time. I bought the cheapest one. <laughs> it was really shitty. Um, it would just constantly, like, black out like that. Um, and I knew, like, no, there's no way I can play Demon Souls. Uh, but, you know, I was just such in a streamer mode that I never thought about, oh, I can just play it off stream. So when I traded in my PS3 for the PS4, it wasn't like until immediately after, I was like, oh shit, wait, I never played Demon Souls. Alright, how do I get up here? Oh, we do go across that, okay. Come on. But yeah, now that I think about it, it is interesting that, um, like, the two biggest issues I've had, like, performance slash bug wise with the ps5 itself um both of those issues have only occurred in this game in assassin's creed that's very interesting which actually makes me think i mean i still think it's the ps5 hardware but it might be these games actually um so it's that whole thing where like just happened where it was uh telling me like no it's not connected despite obs showing it uh but it's also um when the game locks up like it just did there, but then everything goes out of sync. So right now it's not out of sync, but sometimes when it freezes like that, uh, all the audio gets out of sync. And I have to uh, completely close the PlayStation, like restart the PlayStation itself. Yes, that, and it's only happened with Valhalla and this. Um, so it could be just a coincidence, obviously, but I mean, to be fair, like, I've played other games on the PS5. At this point, it's not just those two games. I've played, like, um, obviously we have Phoenix Rising, we have Spider-Man, um, I played Control, even though it was the PS4 version on the PS5, uh, there are a couple other games I've played, so it is interesting, it's just those two that have those exact problems, and nothing else. Uh, so this has Remedy, alright, pretty decent. Backpack. No. So I, I'd love if it was just those games happened to have the same coding issue and it's not the console itself. Because again, it would really suck to have this issue where the screen just blacks out for me, randomly. Uh, Alright, so let's just keep this pebble quest line going. I do have to turn in the click quest line as well. Right here, we can go to click first, turn in this quest. So we've got the... Um, Bone, that's, you know, the lockpick for everything here. Click is thrilled with the back-in-time bone. Says there's enough to make a skeleton key for you, too. Click felt there was no point telling you about a secret door if he couldn't provide you a key, but now he has one, he can. Oh? But he cautions you. You never know what hides behind the old doors. Okay. Best be careful. You're a key figure now. I get the feeling that this is going to be one of my problems with the writing here. He says he's going to tell me about a door, and he's not going to, because none of these options ask where the door is, it's just what's behind it. But let's see if he actually tells me. So, uh... What's behind the door? Says if he knew that, it wouldn't still be locked, would it? There's the key. Alright, cool. Wonders how you managed to unlock yourself an arc. Hard to find, much less get into. Ah, uh, wasn't easy. Nothing worth locking up ever is. You've unlocked it, but the world's doing fine. So if you don't need it, he said he'd take it off your hands. Feels like it's too bad you spent so much time trying to keep this place going. And what did that get you? Says he hears there are open seats on the arc. So this is going to be our first deny again. I have no idea who we can invite, how many people, like, choice-wise we have, but we know there's only four seats, and we invited stupid gnote lady. So we're not going to invite him, especially because he doesn't really care, so... Decline. 
A conscious choice to be alone means you won't miss anyone. The thing we're really missing here is someone with compassion. It is interesting that denying is uh, considered dark. Yourself. It's almost as if there's only going to be four options. So it's like invite everyone or don't. But I, I don't know. They haven't given me my options beforehand, so I have no idea who we can and can't invite. You're better off on your own. Let's hope the Ark carries you all the way there. Didn't think you were smart enough to refuse to take him along. Lucky Click. Click says he's locked on helping you. All right. Um. Show me what you got. I was just buying shit. Okay. We'll buy each of the keys, see if they're ever used for anything. They're super cheap anyway, but... That went well. Okay. So yeah, again, my biggest issue is like the pacing, the dialogue and all that. But even the writing isn't great, obviously. And this is a case right here of where, like, just literally he says, Hey, I found the door. And then that's it. Doesn't say where it is. My character acts as if he knows where the door is. It's just, like, not there, so... No, it's not perfect. What if you, what some might refuse? Exactly. That's what they said, uh, that some might refuse. And, in fact, just because of how he was talking, both him and Pebbles are talking the same way, uh, I kind of thought they wouldn't want to join me. I'm going to deny both of them. And again, I can rationalize at least the Gnote lady, you know, if we're going somewhere new... She's like an animal tamer slash wildlife expert. Um, yeah, we, we could use a lockpick guy, but I'm the lockpick guy. And we don't need pebbles. <laughs> we don't need a clumsy guy doing nothing but falling. Um, Alright, so. Again, we have no stat checks. We haven't needed intellect. Let's keep going luck. As long as you're happy about it. Alright, um... Don't need anything else. In terms of perks, I'm not grabbing that one because that's not for me. Uh, I could get the armor increase. Now that we're actually using um, fashion souls, I think getting this armor increase would be pretty nice. Because again, those mods actually add, like, genuinely, probably double the armor that the specific gear is. Maybe a little bit less than double. Um, but, you know, I I've added whatever it was, like 50 plus armor. Um... So 25% of that would still be a pretty nice increase. Otherwise, we've got uh, reload speed. Attack speed. And damage. Yeah, I'd probably go with the uh, armor one. We'll hold that. You brought her as well? Of course you did. <laughs> oh, this is a skeleton key right here. Okay, this is where we use it. Ah, alright. Oh, I was wrong. So dialogue wise it didn't say where it was, but you know, it did give me the quest for it. So again, I, I, the dialogue and all that story, all that is not perfect. Um, it's very um, not negligible, but like it, it, it's just not well written. But it is what it is. I wonder if improve had a deeper purpose with any of the bang shelters. A lot of games have issues. Shelter five D. It, it rose again. That's one to verify. MC helmet. One handed. Of uh, skeletons in here. It was down. Pants, which is just nice generic pants. Okay. Uh, I've got that for power. 
activate that. This generic denim shirt. You need to line up the switches so they match. What's that power? Good. That's enough electric current oh, okay. to initiate the actuators and activate Ooh, it's the it's a frame. unique weapon. That's right. I forgot about that. These bunkers have these unique weapons. Ultimate range weapon. I would assume it's not a rifle. Because I would assume there's like one of each type in each of the bunkers. Could be wrong. And I think we've already got the um, assault rifle as well, so it's probably a pistol. If I had to guess, I'd say this is the ultimate pistol back there. There we got stock. Everything other than we're looting. Alright, good. Well, that doesn't look like a pistol to me. That is a trumpet weapon. What the hell is this? Oh, it's a shotgun. I forgot about shotguns in this game because I haven't used them. Okay. Alright. Scatter Shrek Lux Bubor. Okay. I just want to shoot it for a second, see if it makes an actual, like, trumpet sound or something. Kind of. Seems like every now and then it does. Okay. Back to my awesome gun. That it? That's it. Alright, so, uh... The next pebble thing is right next to us. That out. Starting today with some of these side quests, just getting these uh, chains done. Peaceful area. That's this little bit of a uh, broken down. Where's the enemy at? Inside? See the zip lines. Which side I have to go to? I want to go from here and go down and around. Yep. All right. Fun with zip lines. Nope. Didn't grab it. Try it again. There you go. What's up here? Yes, there is some money. Oh, that counted, even though it showed like it's this, but okay. Gotta get the loot. Some generic looking pants. Um, I mean, I think those would be a pretty big upgrade over the ones I currently have in terms of armor. Because can I put those mods on? Um, doesn't look like it's too 
awesome though, so I only need to change the look until I get something that actually looks good. <laughs> Alright, is this last one somewhere we've been? Hell yeah, it is. Perfect. And all these other quests we looked at, these are just the generic ones that, for now, I'm just ignoring. If we stumble upon them, we'll do them. Uh, great, so... Go here. Oh, we can also check her out. I think she's a uh, another clothes merchant. Juju. I guess it's a key. I know. Not that Juju's asking for a seat, but who's oh, going to shit. pilot that thing for you? Juju wants to get a seat? What? What we have here is an opportunity to help your next. What? Okay, so they do give you. Because this person is just like a clothes merchant. What? You know, I, I, this is like a bad game design choice. It's just me as like the person making the choice. I hate, I don't know the options, but it's totally fine as like a game design choice. Like, I don't know who to choose, so like... I have nothing against Juju, but like... We, do we really need someone who can like make clothes for us? I mean, it'd be, it'd be fun, it'd be useful, but like... I don't know my other options if there's anyone more useful. I think I'm gonna have to decline, like... At this point, I I'm assuming people like Gulp, we can invite them too, probably. So yeah, we probably get like a lot of options. It's not just gonna be use, it's personality. And again... The character Juju is... is I think this is the person, like the... Uh, the famed tailor who can make awesome gear. You know what? Fuck it. Juju... We've heard from multiple sources in the game already that there's this, like, mythical tailor who makes really cool-looking gear. Fuck it, Juju's coming with us. We need to look the part. Why? You don't need anyone else but yourself and me, of course, but I'm a part of Probably gonna regret that, that count. but fuck it. We have two more seats open for people that are if you want worthy. To go further, go together. The only one we'd want to get away quickly from here is darkness. But you know you can't go on without me. Even if I'm bad company, I complete you. Hmm. I think we can finally agree on something. It is better to be alone than in bad company. But best of all is being good company yourself. Thinks you could have chosen someone better. Emma Juju, Juju what? can't wait. To Why would you tell me that? The arc as soon as you're ready. He's invested in helping so it is a he, but best. I can rationalize this as well. So again, if we're going somewhere new, obviously we have the uh, animal lady who can uh, tame animals, also give us info on the wildlife, how to survive, how to not get killed by them. Um, and then we have Juju, who can obviously make us look cool, but also if there's enemies, maybe disguise us as the enemies, uh, maybe make some camo gear for us to go hunting. So... Okay, it's still not as useful, but fuck it. All right, but now we have two more slots, and it seems like we can invite a lot of people. I'm gonna have to be very picky. Now the whole reason we came here and see what we got. Wait, there's quest items. Oh, that's for the bar room. We already got that. Blows. Here we go. Anything stand out as being super cool like that? That'd be pretty nice. And if I go samurai look, that would be pretty nice. It does have four slots. Uh, the armor is super low, so even with the mods, it'd still be, uh, probably only 50s, so I'd lose some armor, but visually, I might want to buy that. Uh, I like the fact that it's curled up so I can see my face, but it's not really, I don't want to, <laughs> I don't want to have a stupid little hat like this. That one would be more like what I want. I don't need to pay for it. The only one is maybe the samurai. I'm sure we'll get something better. No, we. I'm just gonna buy it. We have money, and I haven't sold anything, so fuck it. All right, so we have that just in case. I already looked at the range base and all these things. 
change parts when we need anyways. Alright. Well spent. Right now, Pebble's last zip line. We are not inviting Pebble with us. Here, easy enough. Oh, sunrise. work too the bomber jacket that'd be pretty dope and that would be just as good armor wise if I uh, modded it out What's that look like got text too I can check that in a sec huh can make that work I got text from my mom do I want any five dollars she's clearly at like a yard sale so now she's gonna send me like 10,000 pictures of something. What's it gonna be? <laughs> Wait for the next text. <laughs> she's clearly at a yard sale. There it is. What is it? Oh, Funko Pops. Oh shit, really? Someone is selling a baby Yoda, not Yoda, but the child from Mandalorian for five bucks? Hell yeah, I'll take that. Captain America, Harley Quinn, Iron Man. What the fuck kind of Deadpool is this? Some sort of Deadpool that's like in an anime? Uh, I don't know who that is. A Conan O'Brien? Okay, well, I'd say the Yoda. Do you like Harley Quinn? I mean, they're only five bucks. I wouldn't... Hmm. I... I, I am only buying pops I'm like in love with. But if these are only five bucks, like, I, I wouldn't buy a cap. Not because it's bad, just because I normally wouldn't care. But for five dollars, Captain America. And I do have the Joker. And this is the 90s cartoon. Okay, I gotta get the Harley Quinn and the Yoda. Um, I don't know about Cap, though. Alright, I got, I gotta text her. Or, in fact, I'm gonna call her, so one second. One second.
right. Uh, so yeah, this jacket. Thing is, I mean, it's not that the pants don't go with it, it's just they don't really go with it. I can check what other pants I have that would potentially go with this. And this would be more of kind of what I'm going for, just a, a badass. Uh, so let's see, if I were to change the pants. I still want to kind of get a balance of not just like the shittiest armor stuff, so I want like a decent armor. I think without mods, this is probably in the 20s, so something like that would be fine. Um, it'd be generic, but you know, that'd work, although the clipping would bother me. It only has two mods. Oh yeah, no, two is fine. See, that'd work if it wasn't clipping. That works, just very generic, but hey, I think that'd be fine. Ant pants, I mean, the color is a little too much. It's a little too saturated brown. No, no. I mean, this is samurai pants. Like, that'd go with the samurai shit. No. Clipping. I, I only have, like, several, like, four different types. And they're all just, like, different uh, rarities of them. I think it's just the black pass pants are just the most... The best looking ones. Although this- oh! The Jagney pants work. They're just the shittiest ones there. But they do kind of have that like badass style vibe with the uh... I don't know what to call it. Coattails if you will. They have no add-ons too. Nah, I, they have no add-ons. I need the add-ons. Alright, so I'd have to go with uh... Let's sort by... Is it stat, maybe? I guess it'd be stat. I'm not sure if it'd be level or stat. And then... Want to do much more fashion souls? Yeah. I'm interested in these Ronin pants, but they're level 20. Oh, we're almost 25. Uh, so yeah, it'd have to be these pass pants. I just don't like the clipping. There was something else. There was another pants that didn't clip. What was it? These ones. I mean, my fur pops out, but that's not really clipping. That's Jagney. I thought there were pants that didn't clip. Are they really this shitty? They're like, all the way down here? Where is it? Maybe the boot camp pants. Yeah, you know what? None of these pants really work. Yeah, so for now, we'll keep what we have. We'll go back to the other thing as well. That was that one. All right, but well, we have some decent shirts now. It's more so the uh, pants we need to go with it. All right. So we can go back to Pebble. Got his stuff here. That's good. So we're getting the first portion of this uh, stream with all these side things done. Then we'll have a lot of main stuff and hopefully we will be doing tribe stuff today. Whether I force it or not, we're doing tribe stuff today. Whoop. Is that my mount just chill? Does the mount stay where you last left them? I think it does. That's interesting. Pebble says you've made him feel confident now that you've found a safe place for him to go later on down the line. Pebble says he's in your debt now that you've spent so much of your precious time helping him out. He's found many unexplored areas on his expeditions, but many required prying to squeeze in. So, now that you have the right tool, you should be able to pry stronger and better, and access places you couldn't get into before. Sweet. Um, so where have you been? 
Wonders if there's anywhere he hasn't been. Wherever there's a pebble, you could find pebble too. Thinks it's fantastic you found the Ark. Imagine where you can go with that. Anywhere I want. He's gonna try to ask the to join. The whole world is open to you. And beyond. Yes, to me. Of me. course, now that the world is healing, you don't need to leave. But maybe you still could if you want. <laughs> yes, I could. Amazed you tried so hard to save the world. Such determination. So, what's your Ark Rider roster looking like? So, what we have here is an opportunity to help your next. There's a seat open on the Ark should you want to offer it as a gesture of appreciation. Yes, yeah, so we have two seats open. None be you. A conscious choice to be alone means you won't miss anyone. The, the same dialogue. Be well, okay. anyone. Understands why you wouldn't want him along. Who would? <laughs> Debbie Downer. Pebble is always ready to help. All right, well, bye, buddy. Says oh, wait, he sells shit. What's he sell? Is it merchant? Thinks you made the... Pebble is all... Oops, I closed it. Thinks you I'm skipping the dialogue. Pebble is all... God damn, I did it again. All right, we're not skipping the dialogue. Click, done. Thank you. Uh, miscellaneous light bulb. Close. This is the same one we just bought. Uh, yeah. Ooh. That's gonna be shitty. Oh, it has four slots, though. Oh, no, they all have four slots. That's gonna be shitty armor, but uh, potential. I gotta buy that. I got you. Here's my headband I got on. Alright. He was already depressed. Alright. Fair and square. I am liking this uh this thing here. It's just not gonna fit with anything I have. And the, and the armor is going to be so terrible. Like, that's really bad armor, even when I uh, mod it out. It's probably only going to get to, like, maybe 40, 45 or so. But, uh, you know, that'd work. It's not as great as I thought it'd be. But, you know, if I go, like, all black, it'd be something. And we do have pants that go with it. So, I mean, I'm not going to wear it, but, you know, I know we have pants that will actually mesh with it. Okay, well, maybe not that. Maybe we don't have pants that mesh with it. Well, that would that would work-ish. That would actually work pretty decently. Nah. And we have like straight black pants. Oh, there you go. Well, nope, that's still like brown. All right, so we don't have anything that goes with it, but oh well. Fine. Bye, Pebble. Oh, wait, what? There's something else here. Find a path to the nest. Wait, what? Shouldn't be up top, but we'll go up there anyway. So the reward is up top. A thunderstorm. Surprise. here. Oh, that was just a trick. All around here. God, what the hell was that? Did not grab the uh, zip line. Alright, I'm do it from here then. Who is this? What? Yo, this is a dope mount. Okay. Completely different. 
Okay. Whee! Alright, let's see where we're going next. See, this is the true reason? Nice. I think all these are just ones we're ignoring. I think at this point we looked at all this stuff. These are all just ignorable ones for the time being. Uh, so it is, we'll go here. And if he pushes me up here, you know, no, fuck that. We'll just go do the tribe thing right now. I gotta start doing these tribe quests before anything else. Are any of these side quests worth it? There is an old world vault which has good loot. And then maybe that along the way. And we'll head up here. Well, that's good. Yeah, this was awesome. We can fast travel, but first things first, we gotta check out. Whee! Oh, wow. He barely falls. Wow. Damn. Speed up a little bit. Okay, wow. That goes far. Slow, but far. The way he runs. Wing just going crazy. Alright. Nice. Go here and head north. This seems like a big ass place. So this one might take a bit. We start sweeping up towards the tribes. Although, I could go this way instead. This would be quicker actually. No, we're going to go this way. Can't fast travel when I'm on the mount. Okay. That mount. Uh, we'll hit up. I can't mark that as active. Now I did. Good. All right. All right. Let's start working on these tribe things. Mount can be spawned here. Oh. Wait, he's not a mount that you get to keep? It was just a one-time thing. Huh. That's interesting. That sucks. Okay. I'm guessing he's just always up there then, so you can always just nab him up there if you need it. Check it again. I know it's not uh, here. Maybe the wheel is what you're saying? Yeah, the wheel? Ah, okay. So he's a, um... Yeah, so he's not a mount. Gotcha. Alright, well that's cool. Old pack. That's useful. I go around this. Exactly, yeah, it is even better that way. Yep, don't have to switch, yeah. Now we have land, sea, air, mech. <laughs> Alright, rival outposts. These two done, then we can go over there. Another quarrel spot. Back in the days, there were things here. Now it's all gone. Oh God, what is firing behind me? with 
He's wearing like a <laughs> pajamas here. Okay. Ah. Not pajamas. Ow. are actually uh, decently resisting it for just the normal ass enemies. This guy. Alright. These are my new bros here. Anything up here? I don't see anything, but... I'd like to use those small crates so you wouldn't be able to see them too well. Anyways. It's safe to say it's nothing here. Well, here you go, Sandy. Well, this this is why. Well, you can't see it now. I don't know if you're looking, but uh, so that's why mounts sometimes don't show up. Uh, so he was within range of me, like seeing him. Uh, and if I look at him, they actually run in slow motion. So it's some sort of issue. Like if they're within range, they do come to you. They just go in slow motion. So uh, we actually saw a visual. Yeah. I wonder if I can make it happen again. So, like, if you're close to them, seems to be the issue. Well, nope, that time it worked. I don't know. But, uh, it just happened to work right here. Where I did it, he wasn't here, I turned around, and he was going super... It wasn't even, like, like it was actual slow motion. Um... So I know for me, it's only happened like that when, uh, they're nearby. But, uh... I actually got a visual representation of what's happening there. <laughs> so they are coming to you, which is they're going very slow. <laughs> exactly, coming to you without fail, but always in slow mo. Bang Shelter 10G. Wonder if anyone survived anything in there. Could use that with the samurai suit, maybe. Oh, who's in there? What are these things? What the hell? These are more plant guys for new. The other thing, uh, oh, they're like a Venus flytrap. Well, not really Venus flytraps, but some sort of thing. Pterodactyl plants. <laughs> Shotgun. So there were like three super blue something. There's two different ways to go here. Go up or through here.
There's another camo vest again if we went full in with the uh, military style. It'd work. It'd definitely fit me. Especially with the bandana. Small clip. Alright. Another one of the Rigby's. First superb. Fencing helm. Not bad stat wise, but good fashion wise. Superb here. Which we get another helm. Decent stat wise, but not me. We got that one. Okay. Oh, this is an exit. Alright, so let me uh, check that other path, the stairs. I mean, what the last superb thing is. There's a hat I could wear, but it's not good. miss anything too along the way. Ooh, nope. Alright, see so the stairs here. Here, where was it? Yeah. That's the last superb? Not. Nah, where's that superb at? Missed one. Huh. All right. Well, this. Oh, that's a super blue. Oh, wow. Okay. Crazy facey. <laughs> That's pretty good stats, though. Armor and crit, uh, crit chance. Alright, good. Superb trash, yeah. Alright, so we're getting closer to this first rival outpost. That trouble truck over there looks like no one ever cracked it open. I could make use of the straw top. It's pretty nice. Um, pretty decent stats. Again, with my uh, mods, I probably put on roughly 30-ish armor. Maybe the 40, so that might be about the same. It has potential if we can get pants. Well, we do have some samurai pants, so maybe. I'll look into it. And we leveled up, and again, nothing that we need... Uh, that requirement wise so keep going look looks good I haven't gotten the fast travel yet though maybe like the uh, outpost though at least Below me. Yeah. Is there a road that goes there? Yeah, it's out that way though. On this. Okay.
opening up. Good. Here we go. Fast travel. Nice. Where are the enemies at? All the way down there? No, I have not done the southwest one yet. It's interesting. You said that was your first. So it seems that uh, it's not specific, you know, with the quest, like the exact order you do it. You can do other things. Like, I know there's a main quest down. So I'm sure doing that main quest will then push me to the uh, world eater. I might do that one next. We'll see where, like, the next tribe after the defeat is. I wanted to push up here real quick. to go on my way and get like this stuff but I'm still doing it for now it's rng is rng it would make sense at this point if you just focus on only getting like superb loot but like you know this rng happens the underfoot outpost right where the pichu tribe dug it up One or two more areas on this side. Shotgun pinger. Okay. Let's get him. Oh, am I not like meeting with my buddies like we did with the uh, last tribe? There's the tyrant who runs this outpost. Okay, he didn't okay, expect he just said, his tribe ouch. to lose as they're the ones that are ruthless. But now that you're working with their rival, he can see why. Hmm. Try to persuade him, interesting. Interesting. Well, so he says they're ruthless, really. These are like the peaceful people. Ruthless, as in they take no prisoners. He wants you to believe him when he says they have no intention to become captives either. Okay, this is cool how this is different. This is different than the first uh, thing. Once their guardian falls, they surrender. Your pajama guardian has fallen. The outpost belongs to your tribe now. Oh, well, that's cool. That was different. Underfoot outpost. Done. He says you made them weaker. But they won't give up. Your Sifu thanks you. Your tribe is growing stronger. Never fought anything with the ones you can persuade to just surrender? Yeah. I don't know if it has to do with like the faction that you're in or or what. Because I know my people specifically don't want to fight anyone. Uh, and the people we're going after also don't want to fight anyone. So it might have been just because I'm in this faction and they're that faction specifically. But it is cool that you know you can get some different stuff. Oh, I got the bow already. Says you did a great job capturing the outpost. You've earned the privilege of carrying the tribe's weapon. 
Unfortunately, I'm specked out for rifles, but hey, I'd still wear it with pride. Figures the honor belongs to the tribe, too. See what the Wang Fu for this is. Shooting it, obviously. Jump, shoot, okay. Rocking the bow staff for a while. That sounds really awesome, yeah. The only potential downside with my build is it's focused on one specific weapon. A lot of my perks are on that. Not that you can't just switch, obviously. You have plenty of points in this game to switch. Alright, decent, nothing too crazy. That one's okay too. Alright. Test it out just for fun. Oh wow, it's actually really strong. I'm actually surprised by that. The bow is insanely strong, what? I wonder if it levels up with me. Yeah, I mean... It if you take into account the electric damage, it's pretty much the same damage as my current rifle, which I'm really shocked by. Alright, let's see. See, that's the same thing as the melee weapon. Very interesting. I love the fact that these tribes have like unique weapons, like genuinely unique. It's really awesome that the, the game has types, rifles, shotguns, assault rifles, pistols, you know, one hand, two hand, two hand crush. But then they also have these unique weapons that are all different. Like it's again, really just good design. Love the looting system. Really like the whole combat idea. Um, yeah, it's really cool. Uh, I know there's usually like a side point or something here. This was a different type of base, so I kind of have to go back and find what stuff is. Hmm. Just join your favorite tribe early and get the weapon after the first outpost. Exactly. Pretty cool system. Oh, there's the uh, side thing. Perfect. Again, yeah, just like pretty much everything else in this game. Like, it's just insane how deep and uh, how thoughtful and how fun it is for any studio, let alone a 20 person studio. And now my phone's ringing. Is it... Okay, one second. Yeah, so my mom's at yard sales. She's going to be texting me and calling me for a whole bunch of stuff, apparently. <laughs> well, the combat animation is really well done, too. It's true, different and dynamic, yes. Exactly, it's just lots of detail to put into everything. Not laziness. 
What was that? Oh, this is the, uh, yeah, this guy. Oh! That's interesting. You know what? I'm sure he might be in the open world, but we don't have him yet, and we have Shopkeeper not spending money on anything else. So screw it. Let's go buy this thing for a thousand. A sealed deal. A rhino. Oh my god, he is a rhino. He's a big boy. Alright. Things are usually good in games if I start buying stuff. Because I never buy anything. I'm stingy with everything. But when I start buying things, it's usually pretty good. It's like, ah, fuck it, let's have fun. Alright. Me through. Alright, next up is that one, I assume? Between me and it, it's pretty much a straight shot. Wow, that's pretty easy. Um, we have a run board here, which I don't care about. I mean, we can do it over there, so whatever. Actually, I do decently care about those. There's a stat boost, so more agility. No. Oh, oh, stuck in the barbed wire. All right. We got that unlocked. It's just not. Why is this not showing the fast travel? Let's see. That's weird. Not showing it. Uh oh. This place. That's a chug hut. Probably no chug chugs in it, but you never know. There's over there a gorilla mini boss we just fought. Combos up by accident. There we go. Abby. Everyone? Good. Oh, there's the guy back here who somehow wasn't aggro in that entire fight. Go to you with him in a sec. Oh, this shot's rocket. Okay. Okay, but not really for my visual flair. Got something oh, no, else here. Across that thing, and there's a bridge over here. Good. It's just another totem. Bridge. This is just an archway. Okay. Now is this going to be... Yeah, I gotta go right. Weeping through that way, it looks like. I mean, there's another path in, but I'm assuming I gotta go to where it's marked. Do 
into the you trenches. Found the moly hole outpost, an old Pichu tribe hole in the wall. All these little things. You never know when you're gonna get the good mod. Anything. Like I said, now that I'm uh, doing fashion souls, I'm actually using mods on armor, and they are huge, huge increases. <laughs> I mean, for weapons too, obviously, but I've at least seen that. Yeah, modding armor is like really, it's not just for, oh, I want crit chance. Like, it just gives you so much armor. Ooh, a rifle. Rapid fire, okay. Succeeding in a perfect reload increases fire rate. Interesting. Thing is, I'm I'm not really using guns as much to reload to kill things so quickly. All right, so I can go in here, but I'll, I'll go where they want me to go. Is there a reason they want me to go in this specific entrance? Do I want to? Maybe I'm meeting someone over here because that's what we did with the first tribe. But it also would make sense if this tribe doesn't want to fight. Who are we fighting here? Plant guys? Oh, the pterodactyl plant. Yes, and the creepy Groots. So we are meeting them here. Well, before we do that, I might as well go in the bunker. <laughs> Why not? Is this a normal bunker? Maybe it doesn't. I think this is a normal bunker. Maybe talking to him is gonna like, get us to infiltrate it through the bunker or something. Yeah. Well, there's something else we're supposed to do here. Alright, so we'll go talk to him. So this might be something like uh, with the previous tribe, it was uh, release the moths to distract them. That's probably what this is, like, I don't know. Um, change the water pressure to distract them or something. At least they do mix it up with the outposts. They're not all just straight up fight them. Says they've been waiting for you to help them liberate the outpost. I'm ready. Just keep going while you can and don't stop until all outposts are under your control. Yeah. The scout spotted a well being used by the outpost. There you go. Mess with its filter, and you could sicken their troops. How sick? Claims they won't feel quite so much like fighting after that. Alright. Go do it. Done. You survived. Come on. Get One. in there and ruin that filter. Just a few moves left. Make them count. Filter is ruined. Always in the first part of the well. Is there something back this way? That's not. I thought I jumped and did it. Oh god. In this part of the well. Just a few moves left. Make them count.
here, I'm assuming, because it kind of seems there was a path up this way. Yep. Okay. I know one of the pieces of gear is level 25 to look at, since they don't even show you what it looks like. You don't see the stats, but you also don't see what it looks like. We can't even see how fashion souls will work out. Got it. Nothing but greasy goo in their pipes now. Greasy goo in their pipes. Looks like the outpost found out about the bad water the hard way. The outpost belongs to your tribe now. Yay! He says you made them weaker, but they won't give up. Get the armor. Your Sifu thanks you. Your tribe is growing stronger. Open, okay. Cool. He says you did a great job capturing the rival's second outpost. You've earned the privilege of wearing the tribe's colors. And that I will. Possibly. It's the, uh... The torso's not too bad, and the pants might work, too. The generic jeans, they might mesh with some good stuff. Proud too. But the problem is the stats are probably shitty. It's anything like the first tribe. Let's see. Um, as again, oops. Problem is, they don't have any add ons. Yeah, see, that's the issue is the no add ons, unfortunately. Oh, I have to find what gear do I have on? Oh, well, it should be uh, up here because it should be highly leveled. The bandana is not. I know the bandana is low. Where is my uh, Oren craft? Bandana should be like somewhere down here. One piece hood. Where is the bandana? Come on. Go through so much shit. I think I passed it. Where is it? <laughs> Oh god. Oh, there it is. And I mean, the torso is okay, it's just unfortunately you can't mod it. Oh, so, that one. And. And the pants would work with it, it's just again. They're the best. Got everything, because we have the uh, shoulders are the same. Good. All right, back to what it was. Uh, now I gotta find the side point that's here. We can also check out the shops, see if they sell anything looks cool. Gotta level up too, let's do that. More luck. Perks, I was going to nab uh, armor mods, giving me more armor. So we go from 206 to Wait, what? It's still 206. Does it not apply the mod you already have on? It might not apply the mod you already have on. Well, that sucks. Add-ons to clothes and equipment have armor value increase with 
Yeah, it just might not apply the thing you have on already, which is whatever. Again, at this point, perks, there are still some things that are nice, but nothing that really matters too much. Once we get nerfed, yeah, maybe more damage would be nice, but since it's not nerfed yet, it's either more damage, more ammo, or fire quicker, so all of them are damage boosts, essentially, and again, it doesn't really matter. I can just fuck around with what I want. Assuming the side point be with the merchants. Wow, own something here. A plant. Oh, I just went in a big circle. Uh, where the hell is? Where's the beginning at? An entrance somewhere around here, which has merchants and hopefully the side point. Here? There it is, of course. Yep, okay, so merchants and side point are... So far, they've all been at the same spot every time. All four bases I've taken. Another new mount. Offers you extra. Yeah, nah, I, I won't buy them. If I ever, uh, I mean, again, I'm assuming you can just get these all in the open world, which we should. It's just I'm kind of, I haven't seen any recently. But if I need to, I can always buy them. Says. Gun, shotgun, automatic rifle. This seems to be very common. Like every time I look, it's like never just the rifle. It's every other type. But thankfully, you have a badass weapon right now, anyways. And that clothes merchant somewhere? This guy. Nope, he's melee. Damn. Shop. Even this guy. No. Wow, he, he's one handed god, but no two hander. I could do that for dual wielding if I wanted to. I'm liking the uh, two hander. All right, final outpost is all the way over there. Uh, I have no side quests along the way, mainly because this is like a new area. That's fine. Um, probably can't go in wherever the fuck this pink shit is. So, go from this outpost and just head up to that. I'll probably do this outpost and then take my lunch break and then we can come back and uh, start doing um, main story stuff and also outposts hopefully since again i've been to like at this point maybe 50 percent of the map probably a little over that so i would assume most of the tribes are now in areas we've been to finally so we can actually bang stuff out in areas that uh, you know we're at anyways look at this hi rhino mount i still like the demonic sheep the most oh and rhino mountain's not here it's running slow-mo somewhere. There we go. I call him a second time. Ooh, I like that he's red, though. Is there a road I should be following? Yeah, main bridge was that way. Whoops. There it is. Highway. Oh, don't fall, Rhino. You gotta do what you get, though. You're good. You got it. There is something here. Might as well hit this up, see if there's a fast travel. This is, at the very least, it's always nice getting these fast travels. Plus, these things are usually merchants, so. Maybe a clothes merchant, maybe some cool looking gear. Time to upgrade your clothes. Hey, this is perfect. high fluting, and there's an upgrade bench floating up there. Let's see. I flutin. 
Is that in? I think it's Freelan my Freelan. Let's see, ancient pants. That actually can mesh pretty well with some stuff, I would think. Fifteen thousand. Okay. I mean, the armor is there, obviously. All right, so this guy is some high-level shit. Yeah, I can't even see equip half of this stuff. Uh, leather vest. He has some good shit. Okay, I can see a lot of this stuff working for me. Yeah. Yep. A decent amount of his. Oh yeah, he has like. Yep. 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 Okay. So I'm gonna screenshot this guy. Screenshot right there. And I'm gonna write it down. So, this is the High Flutin Merchant. Uh, let's see. It's Northwest. A lot of them were 25, which we're gonna be soon. I think there were some 30s. I don't know. So, we can check them out again later today, or maybe even if I do it off stream. Uh, but hopefully by tomorrow, we should have some of his stuff. He has some good shit, visually at least. But also, stat wise, look nice. All right. Hey. Some moose. I could find a uh, berry somewhere. And also, is this another merchant? It is. Consumables, okay. Is there a berry anywhere for these uh, moose? Not seeing one. Damn it. What berries for these guys? Alright. Damn. And many other things I'll have to be going out to collect. Who am I fighting here? I have no idea who I'm fighting. I hear. Oh, they're over there. Okay, that's hilarious. They go in the water, and then they drown. <laughs> Idiots. be a town here or something, but otherwise you got that right there. Oh, there was something right here. A gas station or something. Oh, warehouse. That's a bang plant where Toxanol used to make all sorts of splody things before it blew up in their faces. Tough -o. Seems to always be. Oh wow, I was gonna say it's always um, healing, but now it's a mask. Let's see. Fireworks. Anything in there though? Tunic, okay. Around here. Oh, there's superb, good. Add on and a handle.
how we get in there. A rocket or something we can do? I assume that's where the last superb thing is. Huh. Now I know I can't jump up to the top of this. Just don't have the height for that. Yeah. Even if I could, I don't really see. I guess if you drop in from the top, maybe? But I don't think that's going to be the solution. I did get up here, but it was really janky to the point that I don't think you're supposed to. That. Alright. We are up here. Yeah, there's no way down there. Okay. Alright, whatever. It's fine. And you on. Is this? That's a nasty moto mess there. Maybe too gross for anyone else to plump. Oh, we've got the uh, moose thing fighting it, really. enemy? No! What? Why? Stop snud. He's like a dead moose. What the hell? Ooh, and he killed me. Oh shit, I wasn't even looking at my health. Wow. Okay. Interesting. This undead moose we gotta beat, and maybe he becomes a mountain after that. That's a nasty moto mess there. Maybe too gross for anyone else to bump. Oh, Go, got that sops nud down. Alright, he does just die. Interesting. Okay. Superb loot. Top mod for gun, hey. Final outpost for my first full 
Rival tribe. Oh, do we go down there? Damn it, we have to. And so many distractions. A is a disgusting place, and toxin oh, it's radioactive. I have a, an outfit for this, though. This is the only outfit we have. This is a radioactive zone. It's not healthy to go too far in without protection. We have protection. Here. Here. Here is my radioactive stuff at. I have no way to be called, unfortunately. Asked it. I think radioactive is the uh, green. Not seeing anything with super high green stats. What the hell? Where is it? <laughs> Doesn't we just have a high green stat? Wasn't that? There it is. Oh, I got the heat one. Ah, crap. I don't have a radioactive thing. Alright, well, let's see. Try to make our best radioactive suit. Okay, so we could have done that heat zone before. I thought it was a radioactive one that we got. I think I saw 9, which is here. And... 9. Oh, we should have plenty of resistance then with these. Six. Twenty-five. Just gotta wear a fucking dress. <laughs> Damn it, why is a dress gotta be the best resistance? Although the acne's uh or what's that called? Yeah, that the acnati? Right, that's my group. I should know their name. The Aknati. Um, or Ancati. The Ancati is the second best, but uh. 9, 25. Oh, yeah, this is gonna be super high resistance. All we gotta do is wear a dress. Great. <laughs> At least I'm hiding my face completely. <laughs> 65%. That's still going up pretty fucking high, pretty quickly. Let me get out of here and do it again. You know what? Nah, I can't even risk. That's going up too quick. Alright, we can't do that. That's fine. Even at that percent, like, you pretty much need to be completely resistant. Alright. Uh, well, now we have another suit that we can unlock eventually. Curious as to where that one is. Oh good, it's right down there, so we can get that eventually. Now, should be easy enough to remember that. Uh, we're gonna go here. That's the ping dish we were already at. So that does confirm what I thought yesterday, that you need to get the quests to unlock the suit for the ping dish. Well, although to be fair, that was the area I think that we needed the level 2 crowbar that we didn't have yet, so I guess... Maybe we could have gotten it. I just never went back there at the end of the stream. I feel like it should still be there, even without the quest, but you never know. Stupid snuggle. It's the Benerth outpost, right where the Pichu tribe dug it up. Mm. One more loot. Right, 
beautiful, nice. So let's uh, fully finish our first tribe. I mean, he's getting their weapon too. Says it's time to set the outpost free. Inflict as little damage as possible as you make your way through to the rival captain. The captain? If you can, you should try to convince the captain to give up the outpost and join your cause. We get the option, we can try that since we didn't do that last time. Why is he still marked as an objective? Okay, They're ready yeah, to let's go. Enter the, the odds are in our favor. Every step you take towards your end goal will bring you closer to a better world. So this seems a traditional one here where we run through. Here's the first yeah. line of defense. Okay. Oh no, I am so scared. Be careful of that puke you imagine. Sabotage, they mean just destroy. Oh, steamed. Okay. Steamed. It's time to find a way out of this place. No, really, I mean it. Okay, we're starting from the top here. We've got to go that, that. Well, I can say it's steam needs to go away. Ben. Keep going. Let's go. Anybody here? Heads up for that oil boiler. All right. Stay away till you take that thing up. It's Blow it up. To get me up. You see? Damn you. The second line of defense. Just jump, jump on that oh, can ride the rocket. Get it lit. Ride that sprocket. Almost there. Let's go. Here we go.
The outpost belongs to your oh, Okay, so we didn't get the chance to uh, persuade or whatever. All right. He says you made them weaker, but they won't give up. Your Sifu thanks you. Your tribe is growing stronger. Seems you get the three outposts and then the final thing, maybe? Thinks you did a great job capturing the rival's third outpost and believes the rival is weak enough to engage them at their fort. I'm ready to end it. They all hope you can lead them to peace. Alright, yeah, so we do have to do that. I guess that makes sense. Find this side point. Somewhere. Same layout as the other place, yeah. Gun and melee, but no. Oh, there is the armor. Oh, I missed this before. Okay, here we go. Here's the gear. Brown leather vest? That works out. It's just only has two slots to have four, so the armor's not going to be great. But for now, no. Stands out then. This one's way out there. Oh, we're also near the ping ditch for the oxygen suits. That's cool. Um, all right. Didn't get this fast travel yet. We'll unlock that. Let's see. Good. So this will be useful when we go into the eastern area. Obviously we'll have the mech, but now we can also just go into a dead zone completely without uh, worrying about oxygen. Alright, sweet. Well, I'm going to go ahead and save the game here and then take a lunch break. When we get back, we can do the uh, final uh, fight for the fort. We can get the oxygen suit. And then, uh, for the most part, we'll be focusing on main quests and tribe stuff. Um, in terms of, like, you know, side quest lines for the important people, let's see. Uh, obviously, we still have to meet this guy, whoever this guy is, down in the dead zone. So when we get there, we can do this whole quest line for Moog. But other than that, I think in terms of side quest lines, we're actually done. Um, obviously, we'll meet new people. But like in terms of the ones that we have right now, pretty much everything else here is just the collect X of X stuff. So yeah, so again, when we get back from lunch break, we'll focus on main quests, tribe stuff. Um, and if we happen to get into the dead zone, then it'll be for Moog side quests. But uh, that's cool. Great. So uh, again, we still have yet to like fully finish one rivalry. But we're about to do that now. So we're going to start making lots of progress on the like, tribe quests. In terms of the maps... Um, I've now been to pretty much everywhere, uh, so we're probably, I'd say, like, 75% of the map. Uh, we have to get to this very northern part, and then also the dead zone, so that's good, because what that means is, again, I can now fast travel to locations, which will speed some things up as well. Uh, but slowly, but surely, we are actually pushing through now, so uh, again, I still don't expect to finish this by tomorrow. Totally fine, but I'd probably say, you know, counting today... I can see these being three streams, like today, tomorrow, and one more stream, give or take. Uh, and again, a lot of that's because of how, again, I've been intentionally not going to, you know, uh, the village side quests and also not going directly to, like, these collectible quests, if you will. Uh, I'm doing them as we go to them, but I'm not going out of my way to do that stuff. And that's just a way for me, again, personally, in terms of streaming, that I wanted to speed some things up 
If I wasn't streaming, I would do it this way, where I bang everything out like as slowly crawling across the map. But when I stream stuff like this, I kind of want to do it a little more efficiently. Uh, and I'm still having a lot of fun with the game. Obviously, it's very, very fun. Um, again, a lot of the publicity uh, in terms of like reviews was focusing on the negatives. Um, and there are some, but uh, overall, it's been a great, great time. Uh, I'm very excited to see where it goes, both in terms of this game, but also the studio. Uh, so looking forward to more of this. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and uh, eat some lunch.